a lot, Sheldon. Well, it's a radical and costly surgery that's helping people walk a little smoother and stand a little taller. It's called limb lengthening. And joining us how to, uh, to explain how this works, Dr. Aliraza Kosrodabi. Did I say that right? Kosrodabi. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> I was trying. All right, tell us what limb lengthening is. Okay, basically limb lengthening is application of a uh, device called an external fixation. And uh, what we usually do, this is a, uh, a tibia bone or a shin bone mm -hmm. that has been maybe in a car accident or trauma and it's been uh, put together but it's a little deformed as you can see there's a, some angulation. Sure. What we do is we put this device on in the operating room and uh, the patient goes home with this device and they start turning this device about a millimeter a day and as you can see it's they straight. can straighten the bone we can even lengthen it we can shorten it we can twist it this device is uh, almost moves in three-dimensional way so by this technology we can help patients who've been in car accidents uh, trauma uh, congenital deformities um, on that video that you see, um, this was a patient that I did recently. She was in a car accident about nine years ago. Wow. They put her together, and what happened was that she ended up about two inches short, and uh, her foot was completely turned in after the surgery. So what we did was we did two bone cuts, applied the external fixation, and we slowly corrected her. Uh, patients turn these devices at home about a millimeter a day, so it's a very small tiny increments a day. And these are patients that would normally have been told there's nothing you can do, you have to live with this. Correct. Yeah, I mean, she's been walking like that for nine years, wearing, wow. uh, you know, wearing different devices, uh, sometimes even on a wheelchair, you know, using walkers. And uh, the beauty of this procedure was that she actually walked down the aisle wow. and uh, when, when I fixed her and she Aww. was very ecstatic. She was very happy about that. What a great gift for her. Now, not just people who have accidents or, or deformities when they're born, but now people are opting for this for cosmetic reasons. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's, it's been, it's, uh, l lately that's been a big trend. Uh, obviously with anything, uh, cosmetic comes after. Right, people uh, want to be taller. Exactly, people now want to be taller. We, our center has been uh, contacted for the past two years and we have been doing uh, cosmetic uh, limb lengthening procedures. How dangerous is this? Uh, dangerous in the hands of a, a doctor or a surgeon who's not trained, I would say very dangerous because you can uh, end up with a joint contracture and you know nerve damages but in our hands uh, we've had uh, you know seven years of experience um, not that dangerous obviously uh, some pin track infection sure. which is very uh, common but a great what a great opportunity for people who might not have had this especially people who've been in accidents thank you so much for joining us all right, we thanks appreciate for having it. me appreciate all right paul isn't that pretty amazing uh, it's incredible i have one quick question for the doctor yeah. that, that i mean the way you changed that young woman's life it added two inches to her her leg how long that process how long did it take to get her there uh, we're talking about a millimeter a day so two inches uh, we're talking about two and uh, about f uh, I would say three and a half centimeters so we're talking about 35 to 40 days of uh, oh. adjusting and, and, then, and then six weeks of holding the bone in that position so it heals right. so we're talking about three to four months which okay. is not that not bad oh yeah, yeah much faster than I expected that's that's uh, quite amazing thank you doctor thank thanks you. Lisa. thank you sure. 743